Welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to build your own DIY rudder to go on your trolling motor, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, what I have here is a Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor. It is the Endura C2 model. Okay, and what we're gonna talk about today is this rudder that I have custom made to go on this trolling motor. Okay, by placing a rudder on your trolling motor, you're gonna be able to turn your boat a lot faster and it's gonna track and steer a lot easier. Okay, so this is a really simple and effective upgrade that you can do for really, really cheap, guys, okay? Um, I didn't have to pay anything for this material. What I did, I used a piece of an old cutting board that you would use in your kitchen, and I just drew some curvatures on it, and then I just cut it out with a jigsaw. Simple as that, folks. This is really thin. It doesn't have to be too strong because there's not really any force that's being placed on it besides the water passing by, okay? Unless you hit like a rock or something, but um, it's pretty durable, folks. Okay, so all you need is these two brackets right here. So I looked everywhere for these and I finally found them at Menards and what they're called is a cushion support clamp. Okay, and that's the dimensions. It's a one inch trolling motor shaft, so that's what you need. Okay, and it, it's a little bit, the diameter's a little bit larger than one inch. So with this in between the clamp, it actually fits perfect, okay? So uh, the clamps, it's just a thin metal band with a rubber insert in the middle, and that's gonna help it stick to the trolling motor shaft a lot better. Okay, once you have your uh, material cut out, all you have to do is drill these two holes. And I just did that. I put the clamp onto the trolling motor shaft first, and then I put the material in and I saw where they would match up. And I just took a Sharpie and made a little mark and I drilled the holes based on those. And then down towards the bottom here, you see I have a piece of uh, zip tie. Okay, I put the zip tie on there just so it keeps this in place a little bit more stable. That way it's not rotating in the water too much. And I just drilled a simple little hole down here as well. Guys, if you have any questions about how to do this a little bit more in depth, uh, please hit, hit me up in the comment box below. This is a super easy DIY build and it's gonna save you guys a lot of money. Okay, I think I looked these up on Amazon, a similar bracket, and they're like 35 or 40 bucks. Okay, and that's probably on the lower end. So uh, save yourself some money and get, get into like a weekend project, something like that. This won't take you long uh, and have fun with it guys. And this is gonna make your boat a lot more fishable and it's gonna track and steer a lot better in the water. Uh, so if you like this video guys, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, that lets me know that you guys like this content and that you guys want more of this type of content. Also, if you haven't already, Become a member of the Blue Collar Bassin family. Hit that subscribe button. And that lets me know that you guys definitely like these videos. And also hit that notification bell. That way you can stay informed when I'm rolling out new DIY videos. And typically, folks, that's every single week. Guys, if you like this DIY video, please stay tuned for the next one. The next one is actually going to be how to turn this transom-mounted trolling motor into a bow-mounted trolling motor. And that's how I run it on my boat. So you can see this one is actually set up for a bow mounted. And I'm going to show you how to rotate the head on this trolling motor. That way you can do the same thing. So please stay tuned for the next one. And you guys have a nice day.